Welcome back, everybody. I'm Tony. I'm Devin. And I'm Random. And we're Strictly Better MTG. And yes, we're coming we to are. you today, finishing off our uh, set reviews with White. And uh, we're going to go ahead and jump right in, and we're going to let Devin take the first card. Yeah, it's only fitting. Um, <laughs> Kithion, I am now semi-YouTube famous for saying I wasn't very excited about this. Um, more dislikes than I've ever gotten on a video when I said that this wasn't great. Um, it turns out this is probably the best Planeswalker, all things considered, in this set. Um, a two, I'm a one-mana, two-power guy with upside. Yep. Um, that turns into a pretty boss Planeswalker when all things are done there. I, uh, there's really nothing I can say bad about Gideon. I, I just wasn't excited, I guess, that day. Maybe I was off. Mm. But I, this I mean, it's obviously a very good Planeswalker. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Gideon is one of my favorite Planeswalkers. See, maybe that's what it was. That, maybe that's... Gideon I've never liked. Mm. I've never liked, and I've always been kind of butthurt that it's not Mufasa, a Johnny, yeah. Yeah. in the set. Mm -hmm. and I just, maybe that's what it was. I, I try to be objective at all times. Sorry, this you know? mosquito just tore me up. Oh, uh, yeah, we're just outside. We live in Georgia. <laughs> Some mosquitoes. Yeah. But uh, what do you think? What do you think? Uh, Gideon is just fine. He's great. Gideon's crazy. Yeah. He's not just fine. He's wonderful. He's ridiculous. <laughs> like, you flip him early enough, which is easy enough to do with, you know, lots of one drops or raise the alarm, whatever you want to do. Um, flip him early, then he protects one of your guys from mass removal for the rest of the game. I love that really plus good. two. I love that plus two. I do too. This taps down a blocker. Um, and it's keeps, plus yeah. keeps the biggest thing from swinging at you. That's a thing. Yeah. Um, there's I like a lot about this, and obviously you can make something swing at him and just jump block it. You know, mm -hmm. So I like that his ultimate is a zero cost. There's no actual there's no negative ultimate. here. Yeah, it's a lot like another one of the Gideons we've seen, but it's like a fixed version of that other Gideon. Yeah. Nobody played with him at all. Um, this uh, will certainly see Gideon likes all to the play. In your face. Yeah, this is very likely the most impactful card in the set. Yeah. Um, probably the chase rare of the set, and everyone loves it, and mm -hmm. for good reason. It's crazy. Yep. This card is crazy. All right, we got Archangel of Tithes, and uh, this could potentially make a white devotion thing. Oh, this is a this is a crazy card. Dude. This is, yeah, this like card so is crazy. Freaking nuts. All around, it's a great card, but. I, I heard I've someone put it. Devotion thing, so I look at that first. I just don't know. That there's too much in white devotion that we want, you know. Like That's Heliod's true. not great, you know. There's a the thing that like, what does it prevents damage to your devotion to white? I just, I don't yeah. really, I don't care about white devotion that much. Yeah. Um, I, I heard someone put it this way the other day. Somebody um on some site anyway. Somebody said um, you can tell this is good because as soon as it hits the battlefield, it makes the entire game about it. Yes. Mm -hmm. And that that is a great way of putting. it. Yeah. The entire game revolves around this card once it's out, and those cards tend to be very good. <laughs> yeah. Not to mention, you know, the, the four power or four mana three five flyer is those are good stats. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, and it does just crazy stuff. That those two abilities are just unbelievable. We've never seen anything like that, especially that second ability on a creature. That's the card is so good. Yeah. <laughs> One for each of those creatures. Yeah. That's yes. against against other aggro decks, for instance. This is just. They're really going to think twice about trying to swing. You know, yeah. White has a lot of really good cards in the yeah. set. We're just going to say that. Really, really strong. Oh, um, <laughs> I, want, I want to take this one, That's too. Fine. I want to take this one, too, because I, I'm, this is a pet card of mine. This sort of, I'm doing a lot with this. This is Starfield of Nyx Garfield. And um, I love, I just, I love this, everything about this card. I know that it costs a lot. doesn't do anything as soon as it hits the battlefield. I'm always bitching about that. But in this case, um... I think this card is fantastic, especially if you already have enough auras to turn on the second mode on it. You know, well, non auras. Well, I don't know why I said auras enchantments. Um, yeah, yeah. It's it's just if you can untap with this already on the battlefield. Yeah. I feel like you're going to do a lot of good things. Oh yeah. You know, it's I I don't I don't want to give everything away right now because I've got like six different decks I'm working on. There's like mono white enchantments, green white enchantments, absent enchantments, bant enchantments. There's so many things that this goes in. Um, I really like the band and the abs and enchantments. I want to use helms with it. Ooh. Oh, the new I'm equipment. Using helms yeah. with it. Ooh. You see, I don't even know. That, I don't even know that that card slots into this deck. I, you know what I mean? There's so many yeah. things I want to do yeah. um, with Starfield. So I know I'm really excited. How do you guys feel about it? Um, I have play tested against Starfield of Nyx. I encountered somebody that had built a Starfield of Nyx deck, and it completely trumped me for a while until I figured out how to break it. Yeah. Which isn't so much about the Starfield of Nyx. It ended up, in that case, being about their life. Well, of course. Yeah. I see that. 
What are you What are you thinking over there? I think that you are going to. A lot of people are going to want this card. Obviously, yeah. a lot of people. I, I want this card, and I really don't want to pay five mana, but I, it's amazing. It's really good. Yeah, this card just looks insane to me. And the deck that wants it, and I, if I can just see building like four or five decks around this card, and, oh, yeah. you know, picking the best one and going with it. I just, I do, I do think the card is insane. I think it looks really, 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 really pretty in foil, almost guaranteed. Oh yeah. Um, and I just, I've always wanted a card like this. I'm super glad we got it. So yeah. Starfield, ladies and gentlemen. And there's so much. I'll tell you, um, I really want the deck tech that I do to be Bant Enchantments, but I'm thinking Green Wild Enchantments would be more competitive. Mm. Um, but Bant Enchantments is just hilarious. So I think it's going to be that. Uh, what is this, Tony? Ah, uh, we got uh, this guy here. This is uh, Hixus Prison Warden. Yep. And we already partially got this guy in one spoiler. Yeah. Uh, he we didn't know his power things. toughness. Yeah. yeah, we didn't know his power toughness. He is revealed to be a 4 4, so that is fairly <coughs> relevant. Yeah, I think that might be okay. You know, people um, say this won't see standard play. I don't think it will until after rotation. Maybe. It, people, are, maybe. people are really mad about the fact that you have to like, let guys hit you. Yeah. But I don't care. I really don't care that much. Mm -hmm. I think people are, are at, saying that that's too much of a thing. Yeah, honestly, that's that's too much of a thing. Uh, uh, his only real downside, in my opinion, is the fact that he's legendary. Yeah, I don't like that either. Uh, you know, five mana is an awful lot to pay too, but I mean, four four bodies more than yeah. good. Yeah, and um, doesn't, doesn't bother and limited for me. Like, I, I think that's a wonderful, great card. I think it's gonna be awesome play on there. Oh yeah, limited. Yeah. yeah, that's another thing about limited is that like, even if you don't use that second ability, it's a you know, it's a four four flash. Yeah, you just play it on the second or you know during the combat step in a turn, mm -hmm. whatever like this. I think it's fine and limited, especially. Yeah, oh, yeah. Very good card. Uh, this is a card I don't like too much. Oh, um, well, I actually do. Okay, uh, tell us what it is. Uh, it's Gideon's uh, Phalanx. 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 All right, Phalanx. And it's bad. And uh, according <laughs> to Devin, it's bad. It's I think bad. this is part of the reason why I said White Devotion earlier, because this will help your uh, White Devotion guys survive those board wipes. Along with adding four extra creatures out there, that's all. that's awesome. Yeah, I mean, uh, holding this up for removal is the thing everyone wants to do mm -hmm. uh, for mass removal and stuff. It's just, you know, nine times out of ten, the mass removal will have already happened mm -hmm. by this turn. Um, I don't know that seven mana is worth four guys. Mm -hmm. You know, I just for seven mana, I want to be doing so much more. And, like, for instance, in Sealed, um, for seven mana, I want to win the game. Yeah, you know, Fair I want to be yeah. like, Gia's Revenge is a good card to, uh, to compare this to. Um, I just, I think that seven mana is too much, you know. Let us know how you feel. How do you feel, John? You're a limited guy. I, I, I think it's too much, too. If I'm going to play something that's seven mana, I might as well play wow. way better stuff. Something unbelievable. Yeah, yeah, I just, you know, better. I feel like it's probably playable in limited, like it's a two and a half out of five, you know. Like, it's probably playable. I'm just not really, I just don't. Well, it's good enough. I, I, like just their, I like their vigilance, but uh, yeah. I'd rather have them being flying. They're flying. They'll be insane, yeah. <laughs> then let's do that instead. <laughs> yeah. I want this to, like, have Convoke. Yeah, yeah, that would be cool. Ooh, super, super important card, card right here. Yeah. Um, John. Hallowed Moonlight. Hallowed it, Moonlight. It is probably one of the best cards ever. It's uh, fantastic. Yeah, it's it, it, it's instant uh, two mana. Come on, you get yeah. to draw a card. Yeah, you, getting to draw the card makes it just really puts it over the top. Yeah. Um, yeah. This does a lot for us, especially in modern, but also in standard. This mm -hmm. does a lot in standard. Mm -hmm. um, we can, uh, for instance, uh, Deathness Wrap. Yeah. That's going to happen a lot. Um, actually, there's a few things. You know, any reanimation that they do with Whip of Erebos. Any reanimation. Try to put that 5-5 five, five uh, demon into play. Nope. Yeah, yeah, with the other yeah. guy. Nope. Uh, yeah. <laughs> On top of that. The priest. That's yeah. Collected yeah. Company. Yeah, co thank you. I was like, there's, what am I missing? It's huge. Collected Company. Yep. Collected Company is the thing in modern and standard that mm -hmm. stops. This, this basically says counter target Collected Company, draw a card. And Genesis Hydra. Yeah, this also can stop that. That's a good point. Um, the see the unwritten's every now and yeah. again, you know. There's there's definitely some things that this stops, you know. If that what is it, Woodland Bellower, the six mana six five when he comes into play, two to yeah. four to three cost guy. Yeah, I mean there's lots of stuff in the standard format, and especially in modern. Like this, oh God, yeah. this stops. Aether I think the Kiki Jiki combo. Yeah, Aether Vile. Uh, this, this 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 is a good card. A lot of players are not going to expect you to do this. Yeah, I mean, it'll come right out of your sideboard and do a lot of work for you. This this is definitely one of those cards they printed as a specifically a safety valve, mm -hmm. and it does its job very, very well. Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, here's a card we don't have to talk about at all. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. This is Healing Hands. It's bad. Mm -hmm. uh, don't yeah. play it. It's terrible. Wouldn't do it. Uh, this is Night of the White Orchid. It's very good, and you should play it. 
Yes. <laughs> Love that first strike. Love that yeah, first strike. Yeah, a 2-mana two 2-2 two two first strike, you know, reminiscent of Magic's early night, yeah. and does something insane for us, especially if we're on the draw or for mana screw. Yeah, um, in white weenie type decks, yeah. uh, white aggro, this is phenomenal. Honestly, yeah, it helps out our consistency a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, there are some situations in which we can effectively ramp mm -hmm. with this card. Um, you know, third turn, there are times we can play two two drops on the third turn. It's very yeah. good. Um, like the card. Love the card. I'm glad it's back. This was also, I think, in um, Shadowmoor, Lorwyn Block, one of those. Mm -hmm. Well, Lorwyn Block includes Shadowmoor. But um, anyway, love, 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 love that it's back. It will be, will be in mono white aggro. Um, yeah. Even though it's not a soldier. Mm -hmm. You know, I just this will be in mono white aggro. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. yeah. Any ideas on this? No, I just like it. I like good. it a lot. It's good. Yeah, play it. Yeah. Sweet armor on that uh, lion. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's so cool. Hey, one of my favorite cards in all of white. Um, wasn't sure how I felt about Kithion's Irregulars when it first got spoiled. Then I tested with it, and it's ridiculous. This card is a ridiculous bomb, and it's great. Um, yes, play the crap yeah. out of this in lots of things. Dude, in limited, <laughs> this, this is just <laughs> unbelievable. Yeah, you just keep getting to yeah. tap them out like, yep. with that creature. I mean, if you're playing mono white especially, then you can theoretically tap two guys down if you're able to cast him. Yeah. And that's just, that wins you the game. This card will win you the game a lot in limited. Yeah. Helps facilitate, uh, helps trigger his own renown, which is good. Helps trigger your other guy's renown, which mm -hmm. is good. Um, Kithian's regulars will be standard playable, I think. Yes. So, mm -hmm. I, great card. Yeah. We keep saying that about white. There's really not much more to say about these cards because they're just so well designed. They do exactly what they're meant to do. And it's a soldier. You know? And they're, none of them are, like, tricky. Mm -hmm. There's yeah. a lot of tricky cards in the other colors. You know, red has a weird enchantment. Blue has some funky creatures. Mm -hmm. But, like, white is fairly straightforward and very good at what it does. So. This guy. Do it, Tony. <laughs> Relic Seeker. Relic Seeker. Uh, so Search your library for target gods end. Uh, well, there's that. Or but... Sword of the Animus. That's cool. Uh, more importantly, uh, in modern, search your library for target uh, sword. Yeah, modern, modern that mm -hmm. might do that thing. Yeah, that might do that exact thing in modern. Yeah. It do, it does that exact thing. <laughs> it's nice. Are there people talking about it? Do you know? Uh, I've heard some chatter, some buzz. Yeah, yeah. I'm Doesn't trying to me. break into modern, so I've heard this might make waves, might make some ripples. Um, I just don't know. I, the thing with modern is, and I'm not like a modern expert. Or yeah. I know a little bit, but. The thing with modern is like having to have it get its renown off first before it does that is pretty makes bad. Makes it a very bad thing. You know? Yeah. So that's why the, it's only like ripples yeah. of, of, of talk yeah. uh, and that it may make waves, but it's not expected to make waves. That's cute too that he has a sword. Yeah. That's what he's found in the artwork. That's cute. Um, he also has a cape. <laughs> but in I any case. I love this guy in standard though because it means Godsend can potentially be a usable equipment. Yep. I didn't. I didn't use this in my mono white mid range. I, I even it put it in the cards like this. I didn't play this, and I might should have. Mm. You know, I put this and Godsend in there, and I just don't know. I'm not totally sure about this. It looks really good. I mean, it, it obviously looks very good. Yeah. Um, in limited, I think it's fine, especially since we see a couple of decent, you know, common and uncommon. You go get throwing knife with this. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, so in limited, you go get the helm. Yeah, you're the helm. Yeah. yeah, so in limited, it's uh, potentially pretty good. Yeah. In limited, it's good just because it could be a two mana three three. You know? yeah. That's that's fine. That's that's, that's very playable. Um, John, sigil of the empty throne. How do you feel? I, I like I like the artwork. I like to talk about artwork first. <laughs> yeah, I like it sometimes. <laughs> um, this is a reprint, I believe. Um, this Kamigawa is block. this is. Oh wow. <clears throat> or no no no, it's not from Kamigawa block, but it is. I believe this is a reprint. But anyway, this is. Really big, it can be really big in limited. Um, I wish it was four mana, but God. that's just wishing. Yes. Um, it's Herald of the Pantheon. We make it four. We can make it yeah, four. You can make we it can four. make this Angelic Accord. Yeah, you can do it. <laughs> of course, um, when we tried Angelic Accord, it just couldn't ever really. Yeah, work I talked about that in the spoiler. I was like, Angelic Accord's terrible. This is probably better. Um, way better. Yeah, it just, is. You know, especially in limited, because you know we see a lot of enchantments in this, in this mm -hmm. environment. I saw someone playtesting with uh, their. Uh, Starfield of Nyx thing, and this was one of the other enchantments in there. Yeah, and people it, are saying the, it's the win condition in that deck. Uh, it wasn't a win condition, it just added to the board presence to break up board stuff I mean, and whatnot. Like, yeah, all the way around, it just did obviously, what it was to do. Obviously, Starfield is the win condition, because your yeah. other guys become... Like, this becomes a 5-5. Five, five. Yeah. Cool. Um, I am a little bummed because it doesn't interact the way I want it to with Starfield. Mm -hmm. I want it to be whenever uh, an enchantment comes into play under your control. You know, yeah. it, it enters the battlefield. 
Instead, you have to actually cast it. So yeah. when you get something with Starfield, it doesn't work. Um, aside from that, though, I think it's it might see one or two of play in that deck, but that deck will probably be fairly low tier, all things considered. So mm. I just don't think this card will make too much of a splash. Yeah. Uh, here's a card that might. Um, this is Tragic Arrogance, and this is very polarizing. People love it, people hate it. Um, I think that it's quite good. I do. Um, you get to choose what they keep, you get to choose what you keep. Sounds broken to me. But, this is board wipe that doesn't wipe the board. That's the argument against it. And I'm going to stick with that argument. When I cast a board wipe, I want to wipe the board. I don't know, I like keeping a guy. You know, I, I, I do. do like keeping a guy, I do. Not to mention that it's not even like they keep their best guy. Yeah. Like you choose the guy they keep. Yeah. So it's like, you get your Elvis Mystic, I get my Angel of Tides. Deal with that. So what I really see <laughs> you know? is instead of playing Into Hostilities, they will switch over to playing Tragic Arrogance. Maybe. Because it says they keep their Ojutai. Right. And you know? they give them their crappy 1-1 or whatever. Just whatever they don't care about. Yeah. yeah it's honestly, in, if you're playing Control, you, you and I have played a lot of Control. Yeah. Sometimes you don't care about like a 1 or 2-2 two, two guy. You, know? mm. you can deal with it, it's fine. You know, I can leave him open with tragic, tragic arrogance, block him with my huge guys if he decides to swing in. I got yeah. tons of removal in my deck. It's totally fine. Yeah. So I, I do, I like, I like arrogance. I don't know how much play it's actually going to see, but this card, this, the effect is such a bomb mm -hmm. that I would be a little surprised if it didn't see some play. Yeah. Like, this, is, this strikes me as one of those cards that people, when the set becomes legal, are going to try really hard to make work. And then within a month or so, we'll, we'll know if it's good or not. Uh, yeah. And on top of that, after End Hostilities rotates out, it'll be a nice pack. Yeah, that's a, that's a good point, too. Now, obviously in Limited, this is a ridiculous bomb. Yes, you, obviously. Yeah, every time you get it, you play it. So. Mm. Yeah. Uh, ooh, here's a card I'm really interested in. Uh, mm -hmm. What is this, Tony? Uh, we've got Vryn Wingmate. And this Twing is... Mare. <laughs> it's a horse! Mare. That's a horse. You drink. Horse drink. Yep. I think Vegas we've already... Is, but it's yeah, a horse. That's a horse. I think we've already passed a couple of horses, so take a couple of drinks. Yeah. Um, <laughs> anyway. Uh, yeah, Wing Mare. Sorry. Uh, no, it's fine. <laughs> um, this card is great. It's absolutely good. We've had spells like this before, and this is an upgrade on there because it has flying. Yeah. So, it's yeah. good. This is like Thalia, but it costs an extra mana, and it flies. Yeah. And I like that. Yeah. I really like that. Especially in Modern, you play this with Thalia. <laughs> like Thalia second turn, third turn this, and you're never casting another spell the entire game. Against yeah. You. yeah. <laughs> um, so, that's that's pretty cool. Uh, I, 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 didn't, I put it in the sideboard of the white mid-range deck that I built and put on the channel. Um, I think that maybe it could be in the main, though. I, I just wanted to play God's Willing and a couple of removal pieces too much. Mm -hmm. But you could make a point. You, uh, there's a deck that could be made that is literally nothing but white creatures. Yeah. And no spells. Yeah. And this goes in there. Yeah. So. Yeah. Thoughts? Uh, I'm probably not going to play it limited. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, well, no, I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a wind drake, you know. It's, it's a, a flying two it's power a, for three. For three, man. I'd probably and play it, that. It, it, and it makes their instance and sorcery stuff <laughs> go up. That's fine. It makes yeah, ours, too. Yeah, yeah, mine, too. That's what I'm uh, thinking yeah. about. Like, in limited, I'm yeah. kind of just going to, I don't want that to happen. I want to continue on the path yeah. I'm on. I kind of like a three power, two mana, or do, yeah, two like power, that. three mana flyer. I do like that. Yeah. And also, like, they're going to go out of their way to kill it if they have to. Yeah. And then at that point, you're like, well, I'm free, too, you know? Yeah. You unshackled me. Um, here's an Orchard of Champions. Uh, Champions. I just think he's boring. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I mean, he's probably a fine combat trick in Limited, but again, I don't like one-drops that much. I just am not really... No. What do you think? Nah, mm. it's boring. It is boring. It might be okay and all, I just it's boring. Mm. Uh, yet another Windrake-type creature, but this I one like is this fantastic. One. I like yeah. this one a lot. Yeah. Go ahead, Tony. Uh, we've got Blessed Spirits, and there's been all sorts of uh, talk and hype about this card. Really mostly has. because of like the artwork and the flavor of it and everything. Oh, best flavor of any card in the entire set. Uh, yeah, best. All love the love the art. Love the flavor text is incredible. I'm yeah. Sorry. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, sorry. <laughs> um, so yeah, all around great and limited. I I don't see it breaking standard or anything. I don't know. I don't know. I, don't I, don't know. Know. I see something you can do with it, like enchantment wise. That's my thing is that if it goes in anything, it goes in the Starfield of Nyx, mm -hmm. like Herald of the Pantheon, yep. the deck. Yeah. And even then, I'm not just I'm just not sure it gets there. Exactly. You know, I. Although, if you can play two enchantments, you got a four four flyer for three. Yeah. yeah. You know, but then again, he's, she's so removable. Yeah. And I just you know I don't think it quite gets there. And limited, this is ridiculous. Yeah. So, um, I think white is well. I'll, I'll say that later. Mm -hmm. Oh, here's another. This is Console's Lieutenant. Um, this card was not yet spoiled when I made Mono White Midrange, and I'm very upset about that. This card would absolutely be in that deck. This card is ridiculous. Um, again, again, with the two white for a two power first strike, that's cool. 
always good. This one has an extra ability tacked on in Renown. And when you do get Renown, this card becomes absolutely in freaking sane. Mm -hmm. um, I was mad we didn't get Honor of the Pure Crusade or something like that, but this is like that. It's the best thing we're going to get, and it's good. And I like how a lot of these cards uh, that go good in that deck are efficiently costed for that deck. Very. They're like two, maybe three mana tops yep. and whatnot. You know, um, in that deck, I did talk about during the tech, uh, you can play uh, Knight of the White Orchid, third turn, on the draw, be able to play a second two drop, usually play Anafenza. I think if you can do this third turn, if you can play Knight of the White Orchid and then this third mm -hmm. turn, that's even better than oh, yeah. playing Anafenza. Just this is, this card is just, I love this card. I love the fa I love the artwork, the flavor. This is like the third white card that, that reminds me of anime, and I don't know why. <laughs> like, it's just a group of heroes facing down an adversary, and it reminds me of anime. I don't know. I love the, I, I love this card. Love this card. Reminds me of Mortal Kombat. Oh, I can see that, like, when they, when they all get there. Yeah. Like, that's Jax and Sonya, and that's a guy. Johnny I guess Cage. that's Johnny. Yeah, that's Johnny Cage. I can see that. Oh, yeah. uh, this is not the Valor. It's bad. Yeah. 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 This is Murder Investigation. Don't like it either. Reprint. That is a reprint. Yeah. They didn't like it the first time either. No. Huh? Okay. I thought it was going to be great with something else when it came out, but I was like, oh, wait, no, it didn't yeah, work. Yeah, you know, time has taught us a lesson on this one. This first came out, I was like, oh, it might be okay. It's bad. Don't, don't play it. Mm -hmm. um, this is very good. Tony. Uh, patron of the Valiant. Uh, five nine four four flyer, always great and yep. limited. Could be, and, be done right there, and it'd be a good card. Yeah. Well, Instead, we get some icing on our cake yep. that we're gonna get to eat here yep. uh, by adding counters to our guys ice. that have renown. Yeah. Yep. Yep. When I first saw this, I was like, "What is this? This is stupid." And then they started spilling a bunch of renown cards, and I was like, oh, "Okay." Okay. <laughs> I see what you're doing. Yeah. That's see what you cute. did there. You're nice. I need to put that in my counter deck. Yeah, I, this is. I, I did a green white bolster deck. That's actually a really popular tech deck. Thank everyone for that. Yeah. Um, but um, this goes in that uh, green white bolster. Yeah, this goes in that all day. Um, do like the card, especially in limited. Love the card, actually. So play it. Yeah, play it. Yeah, play it yeah. limited. Really good card. This is John Sentinel of the Eternal Watch. Yeah. There's a lot of mana for this thing. A lot of mana. It's a good card, though. But it is a good card. card. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I, I want to say at the top of the curve in a limited deck is... Yeah, Vigilance 4-6. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, not only yeah, the body on it is great, but it's removal. Yeah. Yeah. Like, that's that's essentially removal. It just says tap target creature. Right. Just don't get a blocker through, and screw you. Yeah. I just I, I do like the card. Usually cards that cost this much mana are, are, are right out, but it is great. It's a great body. Vigilance is good. Tap a guy every time. I like it. It's flashable. So, yeah. Let's play it. One copy, at least. <clears throat> Here is Swift Reckoning, one of the uh, better removal pieces in the entire set. Yes. I think. I think this card will see standard play. Um, almost certainly will see standard play. We do, have, we do have Devouring Light. We do have Banishing Light. We have Celestial Flare in this set. We'll see that a little bit later. Um, all those things aside, I think this is a wonderful, amazing, splashable card that becomes <laughs> instant great. speed. Very easily. <laughs> Very easily. Yep. And on top of that, um, it's still like capable of being a combat trick then, because yep. during after the attacker step, once they've declared their attackers, those creatures are tapped. Yes. So before damage goes through, you can blow up one of their attacking creatures, i.e. Ojutai. Yep. That's entirely true. That, that's, I mean, basically, you know, assassinate in black? Yeah. Three mana destroy target tap creature? Strictly better. Yep. Strictly better version of that. Um, like it. Like it? Really good white removal piece. Yeah. You're going to yeah. play that? Yes, I'm going to play that. <laughs> play the crap out of that. <laughs> play everyone I get. Here's a card I'm on the fence about, though. Uh, Tony. Uh, Totem Guide Heart Beast. Does it bother anybody else that Beast is not spelled correctly? It's it does. To, yeah, yeah, that's okay. the first thing I looked at. I Thank was you. Like, what? I understand that like Heart Beast is the name of the kind of monster he is, and it's spelled that way. It still bothers the crap out of me. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> I... I want to like this Unlimited because it lets us go find that Bomby Aura that can help us, you know, get our guy through or deal enough damage or whatever. Like, there's tricks that you can do for that. But, I don't like it for that same reason. Right. That's all it has. So if you don't have a good enough Aura, or yeah. if you've already used it, then you've wasted the value on here and it's 5 minutes for a 2-5 and that's just not very 
Good. And I feel like in limited, it gives you incentive to play those strong R's that you otherwise wouldn't play. Yeah. yeah. But five mana is a lot. That's mm. that's a lot, man. That's an. He's a little lot. power was a little bigger, you know. Yeah, maybe if it's yeah. three five, you know, that'd be playable. And I think he's still playable. Don't get me wrong, especially if you have the right R's. Um, tutoring is good in limited. Yeah. Um, what makes me mad is this guy was spoiled at common. And in the spoiler video, I was like, he's a really good card in Popper. This will affect Popper. And yeah. uh, now it turns out he's he cannot, in cannot play him in Popper. Um, so he just lost all, I've lost all respect for him. Yep. Uh, this is John. Valor in Akros. Yeah. I don't like it. I, I think it's good. I, think, I, I, mm. I like things that give plus one, plus ones. I don't like it. They cost a lot. But yeah, this costs a lot, like, man. This costs an awful lot. So, um, whenever yeah. a creature enters the battlefield, I mean, that's... Thopters. Under your control. Unlimited yeah. Thopters. Right? Because you get two of the triggers? Yeah. yeah. For a lot of the guys, you get two of the triggers. Yeah, for a lot of guys, you get two triggers uh, there. So you could also, like, raise the alarm with this in standard. That'd yeah. Be cute. But it's, it, it's really not there. It's In standard, it is in no way there. No. So. If this was, like, two mana, it would be there. At oh, and, three, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. At three mana, it would be possible, but nah, not there. I don't know. The four mana is just it's priced way out of the market in standard. Uh, yeah. But maybe some limited play, but I don't even know about that. I don't even want to play it limited. Yeah, for four mana, I, I want to play a creature. I want to play a creature. Yeah. yeah. Like, for instance, we'll get down to him once we get to the com uh, commons. There's a creature that costs four and does this once. It is very good. Okay, well, fine. Play that instead. Yep. All right, this card is really good, I think, in limited. This is a War Oracle and is fantastic. Uh, <laughs> great stats on this thing, man. Oh, yeah, it's oh. sexy. Four or four potentially literally sexy. Yeah, yeah, it's sexy. <laughs> How do you feel? Uh, I love this card to death. Uh, in white, potentially having a four four life link for four in limited is great. That's it. Really, really <laughs> That's good. Huge. Honestly, even if you don't get the renown on this, this is a fine creature. I mean, yeah, a, th a, a three power body with life link is very good. Yeah. I'm gonna play that every chance I get. This is one of the stronger uncommons I think in white. Actually, white is full of strong commons and uncommons. Yeah. yeah. Speaking let's, of which, yeah, let's start the comments. Tony. Uh, we've got Acro and Jailer, and I love the flavor of this comment. Yeah. Like, now you're in jail. Yeah. You're in jail. Oh, look, I'm just going to attack your guy now. He's in jail. Yep, put him in jail. Yep. Like, your creature is actually going through a horrible experience. Do not pass go. <laughs> um, I, say, I think this guy's way better than he looks in Limited. Um, a one drop that I don't mind playing uh, is essentially removal a little bit later on in the game. Um, at least when we want to swing in. Yeah. So, or when we want to stop them from swinging in with a huge guy. Nope. So, this is a one drop that Devin doesn't mind playing in limited. I hate one drops in limited. There's only like one or two I would even play in this entire set. Um, I do like Typhoid Rats. You can throw that out. <laughs> the favorite one drop in limited Typhoid Rats. Yeah. Um, Akron Joe, though, I think is playable. I think yeah. it's playable in limited, definitely. Yeah. Um, obviously not in standard. There are cheaper ways to tap creatures, but. I mean, this is, I mean... It's what you got. And you it's can what you got. got. Yeah. You can play on the first turn, and I don't know. I, like, I, I think he's a fair, I think he's a fair come. Oh, this is what I was talking about a second ago. Yeah. The guy that does the same thing the other thing does, but only does it once. Um, Amprin Tactician is probably good in limited. Yes. It's a giant anthem effect. If you can get a nice uh, aggro build going, which there's plenty of low-costed creatures through uh, common and uncommon that you can get. And since he's a common, you can potentially get one, maybe two of him. Yeah. And, yeah, that becomes an awesome anthem effect for you all of a sudden. Yep. I mean, it sucks you can only do it a couple times, but you still get the good body out of it. Yeah. So, I... How do you feel? I like it. I like it well, because it's creatures. If it just said creature, I wouldn't like it. Yeah. I just... I... I like it. I'm, a, I'm coming around to it. I, mean, I, don't, I still don't think it's going to see say a play in standard uh, soldiers. Yeah. No. But I, I do think that it's a fine card in limited. Also, if you look at the flavor text, that is really good advice for um, playing magic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. For standard rotation and things like that. Mm -hmm. Yep, I agree with you, Mr. Tactic. Uh, John, what is this? This is Aurora Mancer. Or Aurora. Aurora. I want to talk about the great Aurora again. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> Still not over that card. Yeah. Uh, this is a pretty pretty decent card, actually. Yeah. Uh, enters the right. battlefield. You may return target to the card. I mean, again, kind of cuts down on the the reason we don't like to play Auras and limited. Yeah. It's because yeah. you get two for one, you know. But if you but if you're gonna if you're gonna do it, there you go. It's all yours. Yeah. Tony. Oh, uh, we get Avon Battle Priest. All right, so six mana three three flyer. When it yeah yeah they, yeah maybe. I mean, eh, it's too punishable. much for what it. I'm. 
I'm in the middle. <laughs> it's like, I'm, I'm right there with both of you. It's too much. Uh, I feel like a 3-3 flyer is good and limited. I Let's agree like, on that. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Six mana is a lot. Six mana yes. is a lot. That's a lot. And entering the battlefield and gaining three life is not that relevant. No, well, it's not. It's not terrible. It's not bad. But it's not good. It's in limited. I will I'll say that I have license. seen those small amounts of life like that add become up. not just add up, but well, become the game changer. Yeah, we all know how good like Arish and Cleric was in mm. limited. Like people are playing that in standard sideboards. Arish and Cleric. Yeah. Um. So this costs three times as much. Uh, but I just. I think that it's a pretty good 22nd, 23rd card. If you got nothing else, it flies. Evasion is good. A three mana, a three power body is fine. I just if six mana is so much. Reason to believe that you're going to come across uh, the Thopter deck or the Flyer deck. This is a good pick to go yeah, against it. So it, if nothing else, something to keep in mind that's in your sideboard. Yeah, I might end up playing the one copy of it. I just it's six mana is so much. Yeah, this is Celestial Flare, and absolutely we'll see standard play. Um, white decks. Have a hard time not just getting around cards like Jutai and things like that, but Stormbreath Storm Dragon. Dragon. You have to understand that this kills Stormbreath Dragon, um, and that just makes it a thing. Oh, right there. Yeah. Right there. Let's also say that this is common. Yeah. In Sealed, this is common. Yeah. This so. is good. This is <laughs> really great. This is a fantastic card. I know there are a lot of newer players, or not even newer sometimes, just players who are like, well, they get to pick the guy that they say. You're getting the guy off the board. Yeah. You're getting a dude on the board. And like a lot of people think that in Limited, they come across these situations where like, well, we both have 12 creatures. It actually doesn't happen that often. Not only it that. It really doesn't. It, that doesn't happen that often. Not only that, but it only sacri they can only sacrifice the attacking or, or blocking, blocking creature. creature. So if they're only swinging with one big guy, yep. they only have one guy to choose. You made that mistake, brother. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, if they only need to block with their big guy, then yep. there you go. This the Celestial Flare has been around for a while. This is not the first time we've seen it. And you can really bait people with this card oh, yeah. uh, pretty pretty easily. Because you know, even if you do swing with your 3-3 three, three and they block with their 4-3 four, three or something, or 4-4, four, four, you know, yeah. then... um. Your creature will not die. I mean, yeah. they, it doesn't get a chance to do the combat damage. This is a very good, very good card, is all I'm saying. Mm. Probably standard play. Yeah. Charging Griffin is bad um, on defense and pretty good on offense. Yeah, uh, it's not bad for offense. Mm -hmm. uh, we just talked about how 3-3 three, three flyers are fine and limited. Yeah. This is one for four mana, and that's fine. Yeah. On defense, it's not even... Horrible. I mean, yeah, you know. because the biggest uh, flying threat that we really end up needing to worry about is Thopters. Yeah. And they're all 1-1s. One yep. By nature. Block. They can become 2s, so they can trade with this guy. But even then, that's that's fine. How do you like the Griff? It's alright. Yeah. It's alright. I think it's a solid limited card. I wouldn't play more than a couple of copies of it. But I'm, I'm not going to go looking for it. But <laughs> exactly. If it comes to me, I'll play it. It's fine. Yeah. Drink. Oh, of Cleric of the Ford Order. Drink. Um... Mm. Card is uh, not great. Not good at all. I've been looking forward to seeing which, uh, what White had to offer for their sort yeah, this of part of their cycle here. And I'm very unimpressed. Yeah, I'm not impressed at all. I'm not. I mean, two mana two twos are usually good and limited, but I still don't have. We probably have better options. We don't like this card. We don't. Mm. Just letting you guys know. Don't like it. Card is fairly bad. And then people are saying, well, limited to two minute two two. Yeah, you you have to have multiples of it for it to be really good. Yeah. So you know, um, this is some of the best art in the set. This is enlightened aesthetic. Oh, it's so pretty. Yes, yeah, gorgeous art. Um, and it's a cat and a monk. You know, aside from that, I just wanted to cost one mana, but that would be really good. <laughs> um, this first target enchantment when it hits the battlefield is probably fine. Yeah. Know? Especially in this environment, we see a lot of enchantments. So. Oh yeah. Play this in your limited board. You. You'll bring this in more oh, than a couple yeah. games. Oh, yeah. All day. Why can't it be a 2-2? Two -two? <laughs> I don't know. Why? Because they, they destroy the enchantments good. big. Yeah, but I mean, it could be a 2-2. Two -two be fine. Like, it wouldn't be broken or anything. No. So, like... I get a 2-1. Foil. Oh, God. Can we see that in foil? Oh, foil. I can see that in foil, and it's going to be beautiful. Tony, have this. Uh-oh. We've got Enshrouding Mist, and this is a just fine combat trick. Yeah, And exactly. on top of that, it's going to be something that helps keep your Renown guys alive if they get blocked. Uh, yeah. And on top of that, if it's Renown, you get to untap it. Like, there's so many different things. Cool little that, things, yeah. That can play out with this. And I think it's a great card in Limited, possibly in Standard in a Renown deck once, when it gets there. Once God's Willing rotates out of the format, yeah, and a Johnny's yes. Presence rotates out of the format... This card gets so much better. I was going to touch on that. I was yeah. just like, this is this is our our origins.
freaking God's willing. Like, like, this, this one, once God's willing rotates, this may see some standard play. Before then, I'm not sure. Um, I'm gonna be playing this. If I get three of these, I'm playing them in the pre-release. I love this card. I would. I'd play at least the two. I mean, I'd say this is a possible two. This is a very good combat trick. You just gotta worry about having the available slots for it in your yeah, deck. Yeah. The same thing that I just I as a combat trick, it's probably the best white combat trick. Oh yeah. And so, I would still play it even if I didn't have creatures with renown. Oh yeah, I, would yeah. Play. I think it's still good without renown. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. The renown is just—it's really just gravy in this in this case. Like they didn't make it too broken if you had renown or anything. Mm. It's just, I think that's actually just right. Sort yeah. of a Goldilocks ability there. That's that's really good. Uh, John, grasp of the Harrowmancer. That was good. Yeah, <laughs> it's it's another aura. Yeah, it looks good at first, but I'm yeah. not too sure. Yeah, that's, that's what I was gonna say. It's not it's not that that great of a card, honestly. It's uh, plus one plus one. It's only relevant if it does something else great with it. Yeah, usually. It, well, you know, like, <laughs> tapping a guy you. when you swing is probably good. I, I just hate that it's an aura. I, you know, this, usually things like I can't even remember his name. But he's a three mana two two, and he swings tap a guy. Yeah, um, yeah. Rather do it with a creature. Yeah, like I, I'd rather that be him. Yeah. You know, whenever he swings tap a guy, fuck you. Um, but <laughs> <laughs> this, this is an R. Like you'll get two for one, mm -hmm. and it just ruin your whole day, and you're gonna have a bad time. And while it's on the battlefield, it's really good. I'll yeah. say that. While it's not a two for one, it's really good. Um, but as soon as you lose your guy, you're like, uh oh. So I don't know. I, maybe, I think it's probably playing, okay. Maybe playing it on the guy that lets you tap for two white mana, like <laughs> so you can tap one and then. Oh yeah, tap the guy more. that yeah. taps you tap two and you tap a guy. Yeah. 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 That's cute. Yeah, you yeah. tap some guys and you swing with him and he taps a guy. And... Open another window. Not yeah. bad. <laughs> um, heavy in infantry is probably not great, but okay. In limited. Of these cards that want to be awesome in the night. <laughs> yeah, I just, well, tapping a guy seems to be a uh, a theme in white in this yeah. set. So, but but Which I like I'm fine with that. I just I wish they were like one mana less. Sometimes this is one of them. Yeah, this is one of them. If this was mm -hmm. four, it'd be nuts. Uh, in limited. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I, I I might play a one of copy of it or something at the very top, but overall I think it's just okay. Yeah. It's just not quite count as a horse at all. So it's Knight of the Pilgrim's Road. Um, do like this card. Mm. Do think this card is, is fine and limited. Um, aside from that, I don't really have anything to say. It's just fine. I like four threes for three. Yeah. Like, yeah. I can do it. Yeah. Aside from that, I mean, <laughs> I mean just having it. a three-power guy for three mana is probably good enough. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's true, too. Renown is just good. True. I like the guy. If they're having problems with your three-power guy, they're going to have problems with your four. <laughs> yeah, guy. that's yeah. the thing about Renown. And we've shown you plenty of ways to get Renown off. Yep. Tony. Oh, all right. We got uh, Kithian's Tactics, and it, 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 I mean, it's nice to have an Anthem effect. Uh, it, it sucks that it's sorcery speed. Yeah, it's horrible. Yeah, that's really bad. A lot of these have been though. I think in the standard environment, we have better things than this that do very similar things. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. um, I do like the fact that this gives vigilance with Spellmaster. I think it's kind of cool. But like, you know, if you're gonna do Spellmaster, you could have given us something else. I mean, vigilance is fine. Vigilance is fine. Don't get me wrong. I like you know, life link or life link would be so. How good. about some reach? Reach. <laughs> I think life link would have been awesome. The card would have cost one more mana, but life link would have been awesome. Yeah. I yeah. think we actually have that card, but I'm not sure. Um, plus, it's four mana plus two plus one in life link to limit term. We might actually have that card in the format right now. Oh wow! Um, I think it's like all your warriors get life link. Ah, uh, that would be a thing. Um, John, mighty elite. You know it. Classic combat trick. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Good card. Yeah, yeah, fun card. John, you can also have the next one. <laughs> <laughs> Stalwart Aven. That's a pretty decent card. I like yep. it. I like it a lot. Also seems like fair. It's, it's a, a one three with renown and flying. Oh, come on. Like this is another one. Even if you don't get the renown off of it, it's fine. You know, yeah, it's a flying one three yeah. for three. Good block. It's good. Good block. It's fine. It's a good card. I like it. I mean, if you do get the renown off too, it's a three mana two four flyer. That's great. Yeah. That's great. What is this, Tony? It's a good oh, card. here we got uh, Suppression Bonds, oh. and I'm just fine with this in limited. In limited, yeah, very, very good card. Very. I do very. like the fact that it says activated abilities can't be activated. Yep. This is exactly Fate's Fetters mm -hmm. from um, a Ravnica City of Guilds. Yeah. Only it doesn't gain you the four life, yeah. which is bad. Yeah. But card was good enough on its own that you didn't need to gain the four life. So this is a good card. This is a very good card. White mm -hmm. removal, good. White removal. Done. White removal. Topan Freeblade. A lot of people coin, say this is the best common in white. I don't know if I agree with that entirely, but I'd say this is probably top three commons in white. Yeah. Um, okay, I can see that. Yeah. Um, card's fantastic. Yeah. I mean, we like two mana two twos. We like extra abilities. 
Vigilance so, and Renown happen to be two it. wonderful Wonder. abilities and limited here. This is in standard soldiers, I would say, a four of. Um, mm. I think, I think. All right. Well, this, is, this is a very good card. Yeah, as long as you I'm still working on the soldier thing, I haven't gotten there yet, so. Yeah, I, I think it might be a three of, but I wanted to be a four of. This card is just, it's really efficient. The card is very, very efficient. Fair enough. I was going to say, the longer you look at the art, the more awesome the art looks. Yeah, yeah you're yeah, absolutely right. right. That is true. I wonder how that looks in foil. Yeah. Oh. Honestly, that probably looks so good. That probably looks so shiny. Yep. And it's common, so you can probably pick up a full one for, you know, a dollar. Yeah. It's not bad. And <laughs> everybody's favorite buddy. This is Yoke Docs. He's back. Oh, yay. He's back, guys. Uh, we, we love Yoke Docs here at SPTG. I like it. I like it a lot. <laughs> We're all fans of, of the Ox, I guess. I really don't know much you can say about him. I mean, he's actually a, in Limited. He's another fine one drop. I'd rather yeah. play this than most one drops in Limited. I just I think he's really good, especially if you're trying to set something up. Yeah, he buys you time. Yep, he buys you time. He blocks all their, uh, you know, one power, two power, three power guys that they've been. And four power. I'll, I'll, I'll let him die. Let him die. I mean, I well, up to three power. I mean, he's basically blocking everything they could drop up until the fourth turn. Yeah. In limited. So, I I I've always liked Yoke dogs. I got no problem with this guy. Yeah. A divine verdict. Uh, this is just straight up removal. Yeah. So. Like that. Like it. Eagle of the Watch is a three mana two power flyer with vigilance. That's good. Yes. Oh, Sarah Angel. Oh yeah. Sarah, Sarah Angel's Angel. been great in limited, and she'll be great in this. She's limited. like to knock on that door a lot. Yep. She's. I mean, she's been in Magic for twenty two, almost twenty three years. Yep. Been a very important creature pretty much the entire lifespan of the game. Obviously, no standard play, but she did. She did see standard play way back in the day. I wish she still did. <laughs> um, but she doesn't because we have stuff like this, and it doesn't even see standard play. This is Igus Angel. And it is an absolutely, unbelievably it. ridiculous <laughs> bomb in Limited. Everything about this card is great. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> yeah, you can't target him or her, but this, this card is fantastic. You get a 5-5 five, five flyer and one of your other dudes is instructable. So, <laughs> yeah. What are your other dudes? You're going to play that in Limited um, every time. Every single time you get it. And then just don't attack with it because they may have that um, Celestial Flare. Yeah, they may. They may. <laughs> I, I just, I, I've always loved this card. And I, I'm probably going to pick Gideon um, if he's still available for mm -hmm. the pre-release because, first of all, all these seated pack cards are really good. And we see a an overabundance of common and uncommon cards that are very high value. Mm -hmm. Very, very good cards at those slots. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, um, yeah. You guys got anything to add about White? Uh, White looks really strong in limited and has a couple potential uh, breakouts in his standard and everything. I, yeah, I think so too. So all around, uh, really looking forward to Origins in general. Uh, yeah. White is going to be a big thing for me. I like Esper, so being able to find white cards from there is awesome. I'm a white aggro player for the longest time, and I, I've switched to red aggro because white aggro wasn't interesting anymore, mm -hmm. but it's becoming more interesting now. So yep. I, might, I might switch back over. Yeah. I mean, I'm I'm a big fan of black. He doesn't Devin doesn't like black very much. That's eh, okay. But I'm going to pick it's white right. more than likely. Yeah. And splash it with a bunch of black. I mean, lavish. Nice. Like, well, I think that, okay. If I, I will give my ratings, but I think white is probably the best limited color in this set. Mm -hmm. And I also think black is maybe maybe the worst color in this limited. But a decent support color. You know, you've yeah. got splashable removal in black that's very good, you know, so... I want to play for my graveyard. That's, yeah. that's really what I want to do. Yeah, uh, that uh, reanimation spell in black is fantastic. It's great. Yeah. So in white, just white, I just feel like has all the most efficient creatures that do all the things. You know, I just, I really, I, I like white a lot in this white, set. White is like the Kool-Aid man busting through the wall. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I got Kitty Owls and Regulars and shit. <laughs> so, so, white is really good. Um, overall, though, uh, finish it out real quick. I think Origins is a really exciting, fantastic, very well designed set. You know, yes. you can tell that some of the cards are really goofy and funky, but they're still gonna make a splash. I love, I love that. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Yeah, the pre-release is gonna be, <laughs> gonna be so much. This fun. is gonna be one of the more fun pre-releases in a while because I think people are gonna be trying really weird stuff. Oh, yeah. You know, because there's a lot of really weird stuff. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, like. Share. Comment. Subscribe. Do all the things. And uh, we'll see you guys next time. That's all the set reviews. But we have the pre-release primer coming out soon. And this is important. I'm sure you guys are ready for this. Now that we're done with set reviews, we can get back to doing what we love to do and do best. Deck techs. So, uh, stay tuned in the next couple of weeks. We're probably going to put a lot of deck techs down the pipeline because I got like five things in reserve. So does Tony. John's got oh a couple God, of yeah. things. So, 
get ready for all the deck tests. <laughs> my oldest stuff. We're just yeah. going to throw so much of it at you. Within the first like three weeks, you're just not going to know what to do yeah, anymore. Yeah. And we might even have something to give you guys. Yeah, we're talking about a giveaway here soon. I would say let us know what you think about that, but I'm sure everyone's going to be like, yeah, give me free stuff. Everybody yeah. wants free stuff. So, yeah, we're thinking about a giveaway here. We're at 1,000 subscribers. It's time we start doing stuff like that. So, um, yeah, look forward to that soon and subscribe so that you can be part of the giveaway. That's pretty cool. And uh, we'll see you guys later. I'm Devin. I'm Tony. And I'm Random. And we're from SBMTG. That is Strictly Better MTG. We'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching, my wizards.